how to connect a custom domain to a site in NicePage. Hello everyone and welcome to another NicePage video lesson. Today you'll learn how to connect a domain to your website. When you publish a site to NicePage, it gets a NicePage.io subdomain by default. This is a simple solution for making your site live quickly. This name is usually temporary, long, and difficult to remember. Therefore, all site owners get a shorter, more comfortable name that reflects the site's topic. For this lesson, we will connect a custom domain to a site hosted on NicePage. This feature is only available on the premium plans, so please upgrade your account if you want to use it. Open your site. If you have not published it, please publish it to the NicePage hosting. By default, you will get a subdomain name at NicePage.io, which you can already show your customer. In the Publish and Export dialog, click the Publish to NicePage button. Click the Open button or the Site link to test your site. You can see your site in a browser. You should own a domain and assign it to a site. Click the link under this video to read more information about how to buy a domain name. Now, let's proceed with the DNS setting. Open your registrar site. We recommend doing it before adding your domain to NicePage, as it takes time to populate changes. For this video, we will use GoDaddy as an example and configure the domain using A-type and CNAME type records. Go to GoDaddy's products and services then click the DNS button for your domain. Your registrar may have a different name or link to a similar option. Let's set up the domain root record. It is an A-type record with at sign in the name. This record can be found on the DNS management page or DNS panel. If it is missing, create it. Click the edit icon to edit the data. Copy the IP from the documentation below this video and paste it as value. Save changes. Now let's configure www. We will set the CNAME type. For other registrars, it can be the A type. Edit the existing record and add www.yourdomainname.dot as the value. www.customdomainforsite.com dot in our case. Please note that the final dot is important to the correct setting. Save changes. There could be some complicated moments. For example, delete all 4A type records with name at and www. Please read our documentation articles related to the configuration specifics of each domain registrar. Return to NicePage. Now you need to connect your domain to your NicePage site. While in the editor, open the Site Settings dialog, then the General tab. Click the Connect button, then enter your domain name in the My Domain field. In our example, it is CustomDomainForSite.com. You can click the link below the My Domain field to read detailed instructions. It is important to check the connection for errors which you may have done on the registrar page. Click the Check Domain Connection button to verify the configuration. You see the Domain Configured Incorrectly error. It may occur even though you entered all the required settings correctly. Why do you have such a problem? DNS changes take 10 minutes up to 24 hours to propagate completely on the Internet. Therefore, do not get confused by this error at once. Check the connection status later. If you still have this problem in 24 hours, please return to the Registrar page to verify your domain's IP settings. If those are correct, please contact our support. We will gladly help you. After about 30 minutes, let's give it another try. You now see the message confirming that the IP is set correctly. Click OK. Click the link with the domain name in the site settings to open your site and check it live in your browser. What if you want a different name for your site? Please remember two important points before doing that. 
there is no need to republish your site and not clear and re-add the same domain name field, as the domain's reconnection may take up to 24 hours for DNS update to propagate throughout the Internet. Knowing that, in the My Domain field, enter the new domain name, optionally check it, and click OK. Besides site settings, all the domain operations you can configure and check the domain connection in the Publish and Export dialog. You can also verify your domain settings in the Publish Success dialog. We have finished the lesson about the custom domain assignment. We hope you found it helpful and you like it. Please refer to our documentation, which thoroughly explains the connection process and how to resolve common problems. Subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new nice page videos and features. We will be happy to meet you in the next video lessons. Thank you for watching.